The story of Nilfisk begins where we are now standing. Inside the first display case are two portraits. One is of Pillar Anderson Fisker, the company's founder. The other portrait, one of the gentleman with a cap, is Marius Nilsson, who was later to become his partner. Pierre Anderson Fisker, who, as I say, started the company, was a qualified school teacher. His father and mother had said he was to become a school teacher, so that is what he did. In fact, he did teach for a short period, but he found it so tedious that he enrolled for a course in electrical engineering. Motors were what he was interested in. On qualifying, he travelled abroad, first to Germany, then to the United States and Scotland. He had promised his mother he would only be away for three years, and he kept his word. It was while he was away that he decided to start his own business. Before doing so, however, he spent a year or so working for the engineering firm of Thomas B. Trier in Odense. He had also managed to save up some money. He had 2,000 kroner in starting capital, and in February 1906, he set up his business by renting a small backstreet workshop in Copenhagen. Although 2,000 kroner was a lot of money in 1906, he nevertheless had to be careful. Among other things, this meant actually sleeping behind a wooden partition in his workshop. This was how the business started. A few months later, he acquired a business partner, Marius Nilsson. Nilsson had been a foreman with Trier, and he invested 5,000 kroner in Fisker's business. The firm of Fisker & Nilsson was born. The first products made by Fisker & Nilsson were motors, electric drills and rectifiers. In 1910, these were followed by production of the company's first domestic vacuum cleaner. Before doing so, however, the company purchased a number of foreign vacuum cleaners. They wanted to see how their competitors made them. In a corner at the back of the display case, containing the photos, is a podium with two vacuum cleaners. These vacuums have no motor. The red one is operated by pumping. The silver one has to be propelled across the floor with a scissors-like movement while at the same time the user also has to generate the suction power. 